Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to do a quick video of an S10 LS swap where we're swapping in a 2002 Yukon 5.3 into a S10 with a manual transmission. Now the Yukon had an automatic transmission, a 4L60E, but the S10 we have, we went ahead and stuck with the, uh, the manual trans. Swapped the engine in and we have a misfire, not a misfire, but a loss of RPM um, when you step on it and it gets to about 1500 RPM, we're experiencing a fuel cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get around this problem and uh, we'll go ahead and, and diagnose it. hear that it gets up to a certain RPM and the engine uh, pretty much kills itself or the ECU kills the uh, RPMs. All right, so let's go ahead and get into HP tuners transmission. Let's go to torque management. And then abuse mode. You can see that this is enabled, and this is the reason why we have the RPM cut at 1200. So we'll go ahead and disable this, and then I'll go ahead and change all of these parameters so there's no way that anything will uh, will work. So the um, RPM. Let's put this to 8,000 RPM. It means abuse mode. If it even were to come on. It'd have to come in at 8,000 RPMs. And then the uh, throttle position sensor. Let's go 99% on that. That means the throttle position sensor has to be over 99% for abuse mode to even be active. And speed. The speed is greater than this. Abuse mode is disabled. So we'll put that at one miles an hour so if it's greater than one miles an hour it'll be disabled and then the amount of torque reduction as well we'll make that zero percent so if anything were to happen even though we disabled it there'll be no torque reduction and the parameters for it to be come enacted will um will will definitely prevent it from from ever turning itself on so with that being said, we'll go ahead and save that to the tune and go from there. One last thing, do not go into the um, transmission general and change your trans type from a 4L60E to a manual. Um, we had this um, situation on this truck where somebody had preset the, um, the ECM to a manual transmission. The only problem is for 2002 Yukon, I have not been able to find any Yukon that for that year that has a manual transmission because when you select this into manual you have to do what's called a segment swap you have to bring those parameters over from a 2002 Yukon with the manual transmission to be loaded into the ECM you can't just turn this to manual and be like peace out it, it's gonna work this does not work in fact, what this did in our situation was somebody had already selected manual transmission and we were unable to affect the abuse mode because the ECM recognized, hey, this is a manual transmission. We don't even worry about abuse mode because abuse mode is a situation with automatic transmissions. So what we had to do is go back into general 
change it back to a 4L60E for which we had the segment inside the ECM so we could affect changes of an automatic transmission, then go into torque management, and then disable abuse mode and set these parameters. So please don't go in and just swap this to manual transmission and think it's going to work because it doesn't. It just leads you down a, a, a wild trail. So leave it to 4L60E, turn everything off in torque management, and then go into, uh, let's see, what is it? your engine diagnostics, and then turn all the mill lights off and errors for automatic transmissions. So you won't get a, uh, a service engine soon light when your shift solenoid A electrical is not working because you put your automatic transmission that's supposed to have a your um, so when you put your 5.3 that's supposed to have an automatic transmission, if you just bolt it up to a manual transmission, you're not going to get any of these sensor feedbacks. So you may as well go ahead and turn off the SCS and then the, uh, the mill lights as well. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, just post them in the, uh, in the comment section. We'll go ahead and address them. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.